everybody, welcome back to another episode of Goodreads, and we're going to finish out the Left Bundle Branch Block series talking about Criteria C. So Criteria C, the, the now updated criteria, is the Smith modified, which means that the ST segment elevation in millimeters has to be 25% or greater in millimeters than the depth of the preceding R wave. Now that sounds kind of confusing, but we're going to show an example, and I think it'll make a lot more sense. But prior to this, so the outdated version, the original criteria C said that if there was any SC segment elevation greater than five millimeters, that was positive. That has now been replaced by this 25% rule, otherwise known as the Smith modified criteria. So let's take a look at an example. I don't have any patient scenario for this. I'm just kind of showing the 25% rule. So we're going to zoom in, give you a moment to look at the whole 12 leaf if you'd like, but we're going to zoom into the anterior septal leads. And what we do is we find the isoelectric baseline. There's some argument over whether this is technically considered the PR segment, if it's the TP interval. Really, in the back of an ambulance with the artifact that we get, it's just whichever line looks the cleanest. So there's still some argument over what is the true isoelectric baseline. I'll be honest, in this situation, I just used arbitrarily the PR segment. So we find that isoelectric baseline, either PR or TP segment, and we're just going to count the boxes going down of the R wave. And in this situation, it's 18 small boxes. Then we're going to find from the PR segment how many small boxes the ST segment elevation is which is six, and we just take six divided by 18, it comes out to 0 0.33. Now, yeah, there's a lot of math that's involved, and really, for it to be positive, we're looking for any value that's greater than 0 0.25. That's higher than 25%. So V1 is positive. Let's look at V4 again. We find that PR segment, count the number of boxes down, and that's, in this case, 23. And then we count the SC segment elevation going up, about six, six divided by 23, right at the cutoff, 0 0.26. Again, anything higher than 0.25 or 25% is considered positive in this situation. So this is the 25% rule. It can be difficult to do, especially when you're in the back of an ambulance um, or if it's a time-sensitive situation and you're sitting there counting small boxes. But this is the 25% rule for criteria C. So as a caveat to that, right, we have two leads indicative of LMI, V1 and V4. If you paid attention, and hopefully from the other videos, you did notice that out here in AVL, you did have a positive criteria A in this situation. You had ST segment elevation with concordant ST segment elevation, one lead, and that's also positive. And if you want to see the ST segment depressions that are out here, along with the T wave inversions, are actually the reciprocal changes for this anterior lateral STEMI in the presence of a left bundle branch block. So criteria C can be confusing. A lot of times, yeah, you can rely on seeing other leads in contiguous areas that may show positivity for criteria A or B. 